2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And the playoff intensity can be felt as the starting lineups conclude. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back home and early with the NBA playoffs. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Game 3 of this Western Conference First Round Series. We're 2-0 so far, and we'll see if the home court advantage holds sway. This is Kevin Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Brent Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. Now the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. The post pair for him will be Williams and Holmgren. Hugis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's George in at the three spot. And for New Orleans. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. Front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. And it's Valanciunas and at the center locking down the middle. Let's take a look at the Pelicans. Even though they start this series in a hole, Greg, it wasn't entirely unexpected, but now at home, they have to put a W on the board. And, and you know, Kevin, I, I look for them to be more comfortable here tonight. You, you often shoot better at home. Sometimes role players produce more at home. It's an environment and a crowd filled with energy that you're used to. Shot clock at five. Here's Ingram. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And Ingram really can handle either part of that. He can roll. He can be the screener. And then he can roll. Or he can score off. Him. Nice option. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. And here's McCullum for three. It's rebounded by Giddy. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. against Ingram and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here that one on George great offensive players can use that pump fake with such advantage Ingram gets the foul extra points coming this is his first free throw of the game shooting two And the first one drops. You add the length to the skill set that Brandon Ingram brings to every game. You really have a tough matchup for any opponent. And so he's able to get one of two. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up to the Thunder. Buries it down low. Well, a good start here. That's Trey for Trey, and that's Spanish for three. Dort against Ingram. And there's the ball on Chet Holmgren. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. Here's McCollum. Over to the wing. Here's Valanciunas. And the rejection by Holmgren. Over in the corner, Williams. The Gilgis Alexander. Outside, Williams. Outside, Dortz. Just trying to shoot. And good that time. Dortz got his second bucket. Well, they can't miss. Four for four. They're warming up the burner. Collin passes to Jones. And the rejection by Holmgren. Already set the summer league record for blocks in his first game. Time Holmgren, out, time out. one of the best young shot blockers in the league. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best.
And here on the first, approaching three minutes played. Six on the shot clock. Here's Williamson, and he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Yeah, nothing the defense is going to do there. Zion locked in. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. The Thunder shooting their first free throws of the game right now. First free throw is good. You know Shea Gilgis Alexander has so many of the qualities that you want in a leader. He fights. He's energetic. He's a team first guy. And he just looks for ways to get his guys fired up. Good on both. Yeah, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Ingram against Dort, and it's Ingram missing. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And what an alley -oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And the rejection by Holmgren. Wow, great D from Chet there. That is his calling card. to Giddy, and he makes the buck and gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And it just seems that every pass they made is leading to a score. Just great ball move. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Oklahoma City. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. And free throw good from Giddy. And part of his game that he's still working on, Giddy growing at the line. How Ingram. And there's the call on Chet Holmgren. That's foul number two for him. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. So it's the Pelicans now. It's a 10-point game. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Pass to Dort. Now Holmgren. Covered by Nance. And he gets the bucket. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. McCollum, no good. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They come off a really big loss on Sunday. And that was a game to forget. You'd like to find some teachable moments, but I think they'd like to just turn the page and move forward. Yeah, and quick, right? like as quick as possible. That was a dismal showing, especially for them at the offensive end. is check in for Oklahoma City. Now here's McCollum. Still scoreless. And that's going to be a travel. Fender ball.
Williamson against Williams. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Trying to get something going, and it's Ingram missing. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Lays it up and banks it in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Outside, Jones. Here's Nance. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Great pass there from Herbert Jones. When someone's open, he'll find it. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got six points. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And the shot is good. Ingram's got his second basket of the game. Uh, Ingram and that body and that maturation showing off in plays just like that. Here's Giddy. Again, the Thunder score. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Here's McCollum. Hasn't made one yet. Count the basket. Paint, that's where Jones likes to live, and that's where he's comfortable. He can use that time length time to his advantage. And first time City. out of the game called for Oklahoma City. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. They're yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Substitution here for New Orleans. As you marshal, he's checked in for Williamson. Trey Murphy comes in for Brandon Ingram. Hawkins checked in for Herbert Jones. And it's Jose Alvarado in for McCullough. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. That's just poor communication between those two. The passer has to make sure his teammate is established, and the teammate has to know the pass is coming. See, that's communication. It's taken away by Wallace and pushing it up here. Here is Oklahoma City. Williams gets the bucket. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Marshall passes to Hawkins. Shots good. Marshall making the play. They're only two players in the league. You hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Williams scanning the floor. He gets it in there. Williams has got 12 points in the game. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. But that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Hayward kicks to Wallace. Outside Williams. Rebound by Marshall. Uh, he'd love to make them pay for giving up that wide open jumper. Just unable to do so. As to Alvarado. Now here's Marshall. Wallace covering. Six to shoot. Uses the glass to finish the way. 
Marshall's got his second basket of the night. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. Here's Joe. He's covered by Hawkins. Joe, good. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Time call here of the Thunder to decide to talk it over. This is the Wiggins. In the first two minutes. Good. Nice job down low. Wiggins. Wiggins has got his second basket. Excellent play. Just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put this one out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. The shot by Hawkins. No good. Well, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. They get the rebound, and it's Wiggins missing. I yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but it's like plenty of room. Pelicans trail by 18. Here's Marshall. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Marshall's got his third basket of the night right there. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in. A very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Passes it to Hawkins on the wing ants. And the bucket is good. Three-point play change here for him. Larry Nance Jr. moves well out there, but he's also strong. So he muscles in. Gets pushed, At takes the, the hit. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One shot. One shot. Nance, no good on the free throw. Well, Larry Nance Jr. came into the league and a lot of talk about wow. his dunking prowess. But really, Larry Nance Jr. knows how to play the game and is building on that potential. And there's the pass to Alvarado. Back to Nance. And the jam by Larry Nance. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Wallace at balls. Nice Wallace. feed that time from Wiggins. Three. Wallace has got five points so far. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. They've been putting on a clinic in the bank. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And we'll be right back after this.
and we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And for the Thunder here, they've been putting on a show, guys. Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. On the floor for Oklahoma City getting going here in the second quarter. Dort and Williams up in the forward position. Well, this is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Holmgren in at the five down low. Williams passes to Dort. Another shot, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. So the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And so for the Pelicans, Williamson is checked in for Marshall. And it's Herbert Jones in for Jose Alvarado. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Giddy's checked in. And Dort, no good on that one. Lugans Dort continues to find ways to impress you and expand his offensive game. But he knows he's coming to the league as a defender, and he takes a tremendous amount of pride in it. Good on the bucket. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Here's McCollum. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Well, there's some confidence from CJ right there. Just so comfortable, even under pressure. Hard to stop when he gets into the paint. Jones against Wallace. Down low. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Jones up top. Wallace covering. Jones, no luck. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And Gilgis Alexander the bucket on the assist by Wallace. Wallace has got three assists tonight. Assertive shot by Gilgis Alexander, not giving him a chance. Williamson in the post, defended by Dorch. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Giddy. Takes the 13-footer, and again it's Oklahoma City. Now, Giddy has the ability from that area to become a scorer. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. McCollum, he'll bring it up for New Orleans. Pass to Williamson. Knocked loose. Five to shoot. And McCollum puts up a deep three. Thunder with the rebound. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Alan June is inside. Working on Holmgren. And the dunk by Holmgren. 
at this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Valanciunas passes to McCollum. Here's Ingram. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Josh Giddy. Well, when Ingram is this aggressive offensively, the refs knows it too. Shoot two. First one falls for him. Both free throws, good for Ingram. Here's Oklahoma City. They're on a 15 to six run. Wallace outside. Shot clock at six to the middle. Holmgren. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Here's Ingram. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, that was pretty awesome balance there from Ingram on the play, even after the contact, and able to absorb it. The Pelicans shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. At the line for your Pelicans, Brandon Ingram. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one falls for Ingram. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Balanchunas. And the Thunder making a change here. Hayward's checked in. Gordon Hayward. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 13, and he's good on the three ball. And when you get this kind of shooting from him, 100% from the field, they're going to be tough to beat. And there's Williamson on the assist by McCollum. And that's now six points for Zion Williamson. Hayward against Williamson. Here's Dort. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Dort got four this quarter. And just not allowing the close defender to get in his way as Dort plays intense there. Outside, Jones. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Third person. Oh, the officials are all over that team. This is his first trip to the line tonight. At the line for New Orleans, Herbert Jones. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And for fans who follow year after year, it's so great to watch development in this league. Herbert Jones has a great build, a good defensive instinct set, and is growing on offense. This is a development guy. Hawkins checked in for the Pelicans. And so Jones nails both of them. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Hayward against Williamson. And the rejection by Valanciunas. How about that 7-6 wingspan of Valanciunas? That helps him erase the shot. Count it. Oklahoma City leading by 22. Pass to Dort to the inside. Here's Hayward. Sinks that one from the post. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Pass to Hawkins. And the three ball is good. 
Hawkins has got seven points in the game. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Here's Williamson. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. Outside Williams. Now the pass to Dort. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got three assists now in this one. And Dort has a nose for the bucket. Pass to Hawkins. They get a hand on it. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. And the Pelicans making a change here. Alvarado's checked in. And a switch here also for Oklahoma City. Wiggins is checked in for Williams. Here's Alvarado. Addition out to Valanciunas. Good on the shot. Valanciunas has got four this quarter. Valanciunas moving very well right there. Able to slip by the defender. A little contact. That's not enough. He still gets the finish. Wiggins finds Dort. Three pointers off the mark. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled the guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Lock at six. Hayward passes to George. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. George has got 13. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. Yeah, kind of weird to say body control with a guy who doesn't get up off the floor, but Valanciunas shows some there. Gilgis Alexander passes to Wiggins. The rebound by Brandon Ingram. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And he converts the layup. 14 points for him. Oh, they own the interior right now. 10 straight points coming from inside. Inside, Dort. To the paint. And Wiggins gets it to go on the assist by Dort. And the Thunder lead by 20. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Nancy's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Marshall in for Zion Williamson. Williams, he's checked in for the Thunder. Back to Wiggins. So the ball's out of bounds. Ingram touched it last. Trey Murphy's checked in for New Orleans. And a wide open look for Gilgis Alexander. That ball's ice feed that time from Wiggins. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe, keep that momentum going. Covered by Wiggins. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. It's Williams high post. 14 points for him. So far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. Alvarado passes to Nance. Now Hawkins. And stolen by Hayward. Goes up, and Hayward at the stuff. And that bucket was all Hayward. Uh, playing the game with tremendous effort. Here's Marshall. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. Shock up two there. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Here's Alvarado. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And 
despite the size disadvantage attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Just four to shoot. From deep, Gilgis Alexander sinks the triple. Gilgis Alexander's got 25 points. This is what Gilgis Alexander does. He attacks you relentlessly. Shay Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display for Oklahoma City. He's at the quarter century mark. 25 points for him in this game as they have looked to him over and over to make things happen. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Gordon. How important was it to come out strong in the first half? Extremely important, uh, especially against a team like this. Uh, we got to be we solid on defense all game. No transition buckets. So the start of the third is going to be huge. That's where a lot of games are won. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO, standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here. Got Kenny the Jet. Looking at the Thunder, we're only two and a half games into this series, but it's already looking like they've booked their place in the next round. Up two games to none with a huge lead tonight. They are in the driver's seat. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then patiently executing. Most of their shots are coming from on the offense. Rarely did they take a bad shot. Good, clean first half. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans played? First of all, where's the intensity going to be? You think when a team is pumping like this, he's trying to put a stop to it. But nope. Just keep giving up open looks, letting the lead get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. Yeah, the rest of the team seemed to line right up behind him, matching that kind of intensity and looking for him to come through with some big plays. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Ingram at the three with Williamson playing the four. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. And it's Valanciunas in at the five, roaming the paint. It's the Pelicans five. Coming to the floor for the Thunder. Lugans door. Ball's knocked loose. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. It's Dort on the wing. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be Holmgren shooting. It goes on Brandon Ingram. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Chet Holmgren at the line for one. One shot. And something to like about Holmgren is his ability to run the floor. A seven-footer who can get up the court in a hurry and get to the rim before the D gets set. Here's Ingram, and the layup's good off the glass. Ingram's got 16. He's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Shot's good by Williams. And that's exactly what you want to start the second half. Smart play call. Halftime talks can go all over the board, but right there coming out, that's the way you want to start the half. Be aggressive. And he makes that one. And the ball handling right there. McCollum, he's able to get anywhere on the court he wants to go. Gilgis Alexander. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, my man is going for the jugular. Here's Ingram. Another one falls for New Orleans. 
Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one. Right now, three straight buckets to start the quarter. And Giddy gets it to go. He's got 11. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well, ball snapping, and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Valanciunas dishes to Jones. The feed to Williamson. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Yeah, Williamson, such a menace inside. It just doesn't matter what the defense is going to do there. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Williams from 12 feet out. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. The Thunder have shot 80% from the line tonight, going 4 of 5 so far. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Williams Find comes in for Chet Holmgren. One shot. And Wallace subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. And that one falls for Williams. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Cullen passes to Valanciunas. Here's Jones. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Josh Giddy. And the young guy taking it right at him. Jones doing what he can do to earn the foul. The Pelicans have shot 75% at the stripe, 6 of 8. First free throw is good. And so Jones nails both of them. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play. Williams kicks to Williams. Pass to Wallace. Dort against Ingram. Down to five on the shot clock. Dort passes to Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. Heads up ball there from Dort. And so it's McCollum with it. It brings it up for the Pelicans. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. Huddle up, boys. Thunder on D. Ingram outside. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got six in the quarter. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Williams finds Williams. Five on the clock. Dort with the ball. Here's Wallace, and again it's Oklahoma City. And, and they've yes, worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range. Here's Valanciunas. Williams with the block. And it's Giddy in the corner. Here's Wallace, and that comes off the assist by Giddy. Nine points for Wallace. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Thunder. They've been active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. It's resulted in a number of blocks. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, 
getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Inside, here's Williamson, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And he has found the stroke, folks. Continues to knock down shot after shot. Perfection thus far. And in terms of size, not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Well, that's a go-to for CJ. He looks to spray it from three-point line as much as he possibly can. Williams passes to Dort. Shoots over Ingram, and again it's Oklahoma City. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Ingram outside. No good on that one. Nice defense from Dort. Oklahoma City's gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. He gets that one. And Dort can be streaky, but man, when he gets in a rhythm, they're going to start to find him. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Valanciunas dishes to McCollum. Williamson against Williams. And that one's good, Williamson. Williamson's got six here in this quarter. Not just a threat from interior or around the rim. Williamson can also hurt you from the mid-range. Back to Williams. On the wing, Giddy. Outside, Williams. Over Williamson. And Williams gets it to go on the assist from Giddy. Giddy's got three assists now in this one. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Dort. Here's Wallace and the rejection by Valanciunas. And it's McCollum in the corner. Offline with his three. So it's the Thunder now. Wallace looking for an opening. Outside Williams. Just five on the clock. Here's Giddy. A three-pointer is right on target. Giddy's got 14 points. Trying to get more comfortable from deep. Giddy looking solid on that one from three. And yes, it's good. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Assist, CJ McCullough. At the top of the key, Williams. Passes it to Giddy. From 11 feet away, Pelicans with the rebound. Ingram with it. He's got 20. Knocked away. And Valanciunas kicks to Williamson. Shoots over George. And Williamson gets it to go. Williamson's got 10 points in just the second half. Down low. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. How about George just rising up and getting to the rim? Williamson in the post. He's guarded by Williams. And again, Zion Williamson. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Here's Williams, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Third personal foul. Third team foul. The Thunder have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. Williams taking two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for Williams. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Larry Nance has checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Najee Marshall comes in for Herbert Jones. Trey Murphy's checked in for Ingram. And it's Jose Alvarado in for McCollum. And Williams drops them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Oh, Nance in position. Taken away by Williams. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Here's Joe. Here's Hayward. And that one Morgan. is good with the extra effort on the glass. Hayward's got six points. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. 
Well, there's no I in team, but there is an I in Zion, and I see him getting it done. Here's Joe. Basket counts. Isaiah, and Joe. that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Defensive foul. Moving it around. Eight of Wiggins. their last ten first, coming off the six. First trip to the free throw line for him five. tonight. Chet Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Gilgis Alexander comes in for Josh Giddy. And that one misses. Uh, all Murphy has Two done three, since he's three, entered three, the three, NBA three, is shoot three, the lights out from the free throw line. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. The Thunder have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. And here is Williamson. He's got 24. New Orleans moving the ball around. Covered by Wiggins. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Wiggins. Here's Hayward. That ball. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his third assist on the night. The pass to Williamson. Shoots from 12. And that one drops. Williamson's got 16 points here in the second half. Zion showing he can get the hands moving, too. Quick release on that bucket. Wiggins passes to Gilgis Alexander. From down in the low post, it goes. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Williamson looking it over. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. At the line for New Orleans, Zion Williamson. That free throw good from Williamson. We talk a lot about guys and the obstacles that they overcome. Williamson has faced many setbacks, but still staying committed to the game. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Started close. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. Yeah, you can throw it just about anywhere for Larry Nance Jr. And then he'll know what to do with it. Alvarado with the steal. Kicks to Marshall. Over Wiggins. Marshall gets the bucket. Marshall's got 10 points. Shane Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display for the Thunder. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. And Oklahoma City, look at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Williams is out there with Wiggins. And it's Joe in at the point. And that one, good. 
they're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pass to Alvarado. He dishes it to Marshall. Yep, that one goes in there. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Higgins outside. Pass to Joe. From outside the arc, Pelicans pull it in. Now, Alvarado. It's good. I love that he went up strong right in the face of the bigger defender and laid it in. Passes to Waters. He kicks it to Wiggins. Here's Joe. Fires the three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. They get it again. Zeller. And he uses the glass on the way. Zeller's got his first points of the night. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. The pass to Waters. Back to Williams. Six on the shot clock. And the call will be against Najee Marshall. Najee Marshall. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Well, the Thunder making a switch here. Williams. Wallace. Pelicans on D. Outside Williams. Pass to Chang. Five to shoot. And he drops it in from the low post. Chang's got four points this quarter. The Pelicans have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. And Zeller kicks to Hawkins. Drives to the hoop. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. He was all alone on that one. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Williams passes to Waters. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Here's Water. Pass to Wallace. Williams looking over the floor. Releases, and there's another one for the Thunder. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Now here's Wallace. He's defended by Alvarado. Wallace outside. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Alvarado passes to Hawkins. It's Hawkins on the way, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Oklahoma City called for the foul. At the line for New Orleans, Hawkins. Two shots. That's good from Hawkins. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Oklahoma City's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Passes it to Jang. Back to Williams. 
and it's good for two. Rich Williams. Williams has got four points this quarter. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. Here's Alvarado. Wallace covering. Alvarado passes to Zeller. That's another one for him. It is fifth in just seven shots. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. The kick out to Williams. And the Thunder, Williams. another three. And you got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And the basket by Alvarado. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Now here's Waltz. He's defended by Alvarado. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Here's Hawkins, and again, New Orleans with the triple. And you know, he's going to continue to bury those if that's how they're going to DM up. Wallace outside. From the line, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Waters got seven now in this quarter. Hawkins with it. Williams picks him up. Again, the Pelicans score. And no one really crashing down on the backside. A breakdown defensively. And the basket by Waters. Well, well check out this is that assist. Really That's a pair wow. of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Here's Zeller. Williams with the block. And now in transition is Wallace. Here we go. Drops in the layup for two. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all kind of get a team defensively on their heels and if you can keep pushing and keep attacking they'd never find some kind of defensive balance to help slow you down Marshall gets the bucket and so it's Oklahoma City with it kicks it to Wallace and the pass to Chang over Alvarado shot is good off the back rim and in Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. Marshall with it. He's against Chang. The offensive rebound. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Robinson Earl. And another three for New Orleans. Here's Waters. He's covered by Hawkins. Waters passes to Wallace. It falls for his Wallace. seventh bucket of the contest. Yes, He's seven for nine. One. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. And they call an illegal screen here. Oklahoma the second half, ball. they haven't taken care of the basketball. The Simply put, more turnovers now that could hurt them later. New Orleans making some changes here. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Cody Zeller. Hans comes in for Jeremiah Robinson Earl. And McCollum subbed in for Jose Alvarado. Here's Wiggins. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Chet Holmgren, he's checked in for Williams. At the line for one. One shot. Free throw good, Wiggins. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Now here's Valanciunas. Up top Hawkins. Down to five on the shot clock. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And look who's in the middle of all of that action. Of course, it's Valanchunas getting fouled and still getting that shot off. Jonas Valanchunas!
Two shots. Relax on the first. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Valanciunas, a uh, seasoned veteran now that you basically can count on as a double-double guy, even in limited minutes. He really does a great job of patrolling the paint. Alan Junis against Holmgren. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Uh, catching the lead pass at full speed. Terrific anticipation. And the delivery on time, on target. Shea Gilgis Alexander is checked in for the Thunder. One shot. He throw good Wiggins New Orleans has gotten off to a great start from three point range in the final quarter they're a perfect three of three Gilgis Alexander with the steal two minutes remaining in the game two minutes lays it up off the glass Gilgis, Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 36 and you have a guard like Gilgis Alexander that fights inside it can add some spunk to your team. And that one is good. And that's his strong suit. The ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Out left to the wing. To the inside. From 13, he climbs that one off the back iron. And down it falls. Wiggins has got eight points here in this quarter. And game three will go in the record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for Oklahoma City. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. And this series has really gone their way. Yeah, it looks like a sweep may be in the cards with tonight's win. They'll be going up 3-0. And this is exactly what they wanted to do. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Shea Gilgis Alexander. You have to focus on the steals he came up with. They were huge factors in the end result. Here's Gilgis Alexander. To the paint. It's stolen by Valanciunas. McCollum outside. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. And it's New Orleans scoring again. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just More a little bit. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. And the wingspan coming into play for SGA just getting on top of that one. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. You have to think at this point, up where you zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. And you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, Shea. Balance scoring for you all tonight. What is working offensively? Yeah, um, we're just trusting each other, playing for each other, uh, doing the sets that Coach has us doing, um, and really just, just being unselfish. Um, when you do those things, things like that happen. It was a great performance all around tonight. Congrats on the win again. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you next time.